haven't actually got too many horses in the area. We've got one here. That's good. Uh, there's one over there. So lots of lots of horses to the north and to the west. But actually no horses around my starting location. On a tree start Mongolian map, I feel like they've missed a trick there. <laughs> Do you not think? A lot of forest over here. That's quite cool. I should explain as well, just so that you know for later, I do have the UC Forest Districts mod on, which means if I put a district in a forest, it doesn't delete the forest around it. I really like it. Aesthetically, it's very nice, and it means you can also keep a lot of adjacency bonuses in areas where you would make no sense for you not to get an adjacency bonus. I, I don't know. I quite like it personally. Also, if you notice how this is all tundra, but everything else to the north of it is not. A strange occurrence. Mining is now done. I actually think we need to get the wheel going pretty quickly and get this wheat. It's not a bad sort of double play just to get some food into my capital that's, that's more productive than a three food, one gold oasis tile, which, which I mean, it doesn't sound great. Although I do need to get 160. Oh, you know what? Sod it. That gets a little bit more gold in for me, doesn't it? And then we'll work this tile as well right just focus on the gold this is probably going to be the quickest way that we get our next settler stonehenge already been taken as well so that first religion might be pretty soon i i'm getting two points which is good and there's a lot of people getting two points there a lot of people going for that first religion so just be a little bit careful so once that shrine is popped down which there it is so I've got the shrine, that means I'm getting three points per turn in now. I just need to get one holy site prayers and that should be enough to boost me to the first religion. And it's always, I always think this, it's always worth having a bit of a sacrifice and not my capital right at the beginning of the game just to make sure you get that first um, religion. Because if you can get a religion on a huge map like this, it just it means the world. And I'm in 39th place on culture and in domination. I think that's just... I think that's just rude all around, really. That's clearly not right. Am I going to get the religion? I should get the religion now. I mean, that player's getting five points. It's got to be Russia. Surely Russia. Russia always end up getting that first religion because they're always really jammy, aren't they? Come on. Go on, go on, go on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Early Empire. Yes. Oh, that looks like one, doesn't it? There we go. So... The first proper religion is mine. Catholicism has already been taken. Uh, we're going to quickly get this one. And what should we call it? I think we should get something that's nice and pretty and colourful, just so that we can sort of easily see it, like the fish. Um, or oh, have a scorpion, the elephant, or the cow. Oh, I like the cow. I'm going to name it lovingly. Don't have a cow, have a horse just so that everybody knows exactly where I stand. What am I going to do with my religion? Now, I want to get in Crusade. Crusade means I've got to spend my faith on things like missionaries. If I don't spend them on missionaries, it's pointless. So there's no point getting Jesuit education. I need an excuse to build shrines and temples. Choral music I love because it gives me culture. And that extra culture at the beginning of the game is absolutely massive. But I am going to get Feed the World instead. It feels a little bit like I do this every time, but it's a really good combo. That means I am going to get a little bit of extra food. It all stacks up, especially in this city. that just appears to be absolutely without food. So there we go. There's Crusade. We'll spread our religion around. Don't have a cow. Have a course. It's the true path of salvation, you know? I, it's, it's in the name. It's in the name. It also means my capital now gets some more food which is a crippling like problem for it at the moment. Work towards state workforce. Let's have a look at the population. You know, again, I'm just going to let it do what it wants. It's going to stick all of it into the high production and whatever tiles. Get the government, change over to colonialization, uh, like so. And then we're going to start getting some of these goddamn settlers out because this capital is rubbish. And I never quite understand how the city decides to do all these things, but now it is going after that. It's funny that, isn't it? Three turns until a settler. I don't want to produce the settler. I've got one in 25, 25 gold and six turns if I wait for the gold to purchase it. Do I build something? You know what, now I'm going to sort it. I just need to rush it through. Keep going. Always a difficult choice between Magnus and Pingala, but I'm going to go Magnus this time again. 
we're going to need all the food we're going to get and we're going to need all of the help settling that we're going to get. Both these things will help. It is China. I'm intrigued to see whether or not China gets a religion. It's going to be an interesting one, this. Um, but China has not got a religion. That's good. That is good. Eastern Orthodoxy, that's always Russia doing that. That's great. So, we need to be really, really, really careful of this game. If ever a computer offers us a delegation, we immediately say no. No, we do not want a delegation. Why? Because if we give them a delegation, they get diplomatic visibility over us. And if they get diplomatic visibility over us, then suddenly our advantages, you know, we, we just we lose all that beautiful combat bonus. And we're going to be going after China because China is definitely on the list of Mongolian targets. I, I think that's fair, you know, definitely fair. In fact, I'm actually going to start sending out a couple of missionaries because there's no barbarians and because I'm sort of metagaming a little bit, I'm just going to send them out and uh, get them to start exploring for me. It's not actually a bad move. I'm going to have a lot of spare gold because that I'm not going to be able to afford to settle with it now, unfortunately. Do I use the gold to purchase buildings in in my capital? That's not actually a bad idea because I need my capital to be just producing settlers for me. Yep, you know what? Get the granary in. It's not a bad move. Get the settler in. Done. Oh, they're not going to send us out. I need to work on China now. I'm going to give them open borders so that they like me. That should that should help. Okay, so it's five and five. Next turn, I'm going to offer them a delegation. It means, unfortunately, they will continually send me delegations until I accept, which, hint, I will never accept. But, you know, until then, it's fine. Go on, missionaries. Spread the good word. Huh. I have actually managed to find China pretty, pretty quick. Should we go convert them immediately? In fact, I'm, I'm, I must be close to all the religions having, like, been allocated out now you're like one two three four five so they'll all go really quickly so china are not going to have a religion they will not be able to stop this this is this is really good i like this no golden era it's almost impossible to get a golden era when you've got this many sieves oh look china got one so you know maybe it is possible <laughs> anyway exodius of the evangelists i always end up getting it this second way because i'm about to convert a load of their cities where are you, China? Give me all your religious love. Um, in fact, they've already got an encampment. They're going to go warlike. Oh, six population city. Oh, campus. Encampment. It's all ridiculous. Anyway, don't have a cow. Have a horse. I have writing, but not for population to do anything about it. Let's get bronze working now. So I can get the encampments up. There's another one of uh, China's cities. This is good. So we're spreading spreading the love. That will convert in six turns, I just saw. That city. So we'll go a little bit further. Oh, look. A natural wonder down here. I am surprised China didn't end up settling that. We're near it in order to get a religion. There we go. Settle this new city, which means it's time for another. There we go. The city soon to uh, be and then called... There we go. Vancouver. Yep, that's definitely how you say it. Once I take Vancouver, then I will happily strip it of the city soon to be called. I have to earn the right. The reason I had a lot of uh, focus on this city up here is because there's a load of mountains in this area. I'm actually going to take advantage of all of these adjacent spots to get some pretty good plus three campuses going. quite like the sound of that one. Missionaries are fantastically good scouts. You can just sort of whittle them in and around and the computer never complains about you sending army to their borders. It's pretty good. Do I want to change anything? Well, yes, I do. A gogi. I think it's better than uh, whatever the boats thing was. Um, this settler is now ready to go. Got to keep an eye on China, actually. I do get the feeling that if they could attack me, they would. Um, here we go. Don't have a cow have a horse we'll spread that one next turn i'm just navigating rivers which seems to be the most tricky thing at the moment finally provision as well i've already got two settlers out before that actually will come in so it's a total waste in a sense but it's fine it's fine it's fine you know what controversially i was going to settle here but i'm actually going to settle on top of the horses just so that i work them immediately i actually think that would be quite 
good. And then I could start building horsemen like immediately. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. So we'll finish getting bronze working and we're going to go straight for horsemen. Do it that way. Um, go on then. You don't have a cow. Have a horse and then you can do the same thing as well. And then hopefully China will be almost completely converted before you know it. Just get another missionary out here just so I can settle my newfangled cities as well. I'm just going to keep my warrior in the middle of this desert just so I can keep a sneaky peek. And I'm not sticking on this on this hill up here. I just I do not trust China to not attack me. Stonehenge has been built now. Hanging gardens. A panda. I mean, that one is political philosophy. That's a ridiculous spell. I'm not even on deity. I'm on emperor. What is this? Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I forgot I was building a builder here. Never mind. Quick. Send it back. Settlers. There we go. Spread religion there. Bring you all the way back. Finish spreading it here. That's all three cities now. I think that should be China converted. You can see probably on religious victory. Am I am I winning? No, I'm second. Second. Terrible. Well, I haven't even converted my own cities, let alone China's. Ugh. All right, fine. What a way to make me feel terrible, eh? China like the fact that I'm not building wonders. This is great. This means that they don't hate me anymore, which means I can send a delegation to them, which I will to get even more visibility with them. Wonderful. Tert is a fantastic name. But again, other names. The next one on that list was Crummock, and I quite like the fact that Crummock is now next to water. Makes sense. If you don't know what Crummock water is, Google it. It's beautiful. Look at this already. Already my religion is one civilization converted. It's great. Quick, you go and explore somewhere else. I'm gonna get Cromic to build a trader so I can send that towards China nice and quickly. You get on that hill. Right, keep watch. They're actually friendly with me right now. Send delegation. Yes. So, I have one level of delegation. I sent a delegate or embassy. Next, I need to get a trade route and get a listening post. Wonderful. That was easy to do. Easy enough to do. You can see the loyalty pressure that sieves just give off. It's mad, isn't it? That population six city as well. I don't even know how it's population six. Look at it. It's 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 like hardly in existence. Oh, is that the panda? Oh, so China has been building wonders. This is cool. This means I'm going to inherit some wonders when I uh, nip in and take it over. Wonderful. Always remember to put markers down. It massively helps to remember what you were going to do with bits and pieces because you'll always forget look already you can see that that bonus that plus six intel on opponents movements that's before we get the trude route up it's going to be plus 12 and then also crusade on top of that if everything goes to plan which you should should we've got horses that are now beginning to stockpile very nice campers nice plus plus three which is pretty good um it's all about just yeah balancing getting infrastructure in with building an army and building an army is now what I've got to consider doing. Uh, warriors are quite useful. Spearmen are a little bit more powerful attacking cities but obviously a warrior will make short work of them. Slingers, I might actually want to get a few slingers to then upgrade to archers a little bit later or do I just wait for archers because I haven't got the gold for it. <sighs> Difficult to say. Difficult to say. Let's get a few warriors involved. Uh, just now I've got to have some inventory units to send over because I can't just send cavalry at the beginning of the game because I don't Well, I just don't have enough. It's 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 that simple. Oh look, iron. Oh so There's gonna be some fantastic areas for aqueducts and oh, no, you don't even need an aqueduct here. It would just be oh, Let me think about that. These instances are in the wrong place. <laughs> look at that Hong Kong already China's suzerain <clears throat> Yeah, well, um Let's park that one, right? And 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 observe something else. I think <clears throat> the settler's pretty much sole job is just to go and uh, go and pick up some more uh, horses. In fact, actually, builder, you just go and get those horses as well. Horses, I, I can't I can't overestimate how important horses are. This encampment as well, again purely so I can start getting um, better cavalry units on board. China's actually in fourth overall. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'm not in last. That's also fairly impressive. I, both of these things are mysteries to me as to how that's happened. 
as I say, as wasteful as it seems, I'm just building warriors and archers. Warrior only has 20 strength, which doesn't seem like a lot against like a Chinese wall. But don't forget, with Crusade and all these intel bonuses, I'm going to have hopefully a plus uh, 22 bonus when it comes to attack. So they're, they are going to attack like swordsmen. And if I can get like a single swordsman out, or actually you know, the horsemen are going to be the, the juggernauts with 36 strength. So again, the horses will have 46. We should, it should be plenty, but we do need to just make sure we've got some siege equipment. 